Hey guys, it's Kimberly from Keep the Tail Wagging, a blog about raw feeding, raising dogs naturally, and my life with dogs. And the reason why you don't see my gorgeous face today is because it's actually late at night. I'm in my PJs and I'm not trying to put on any makeup right now. But let's talk about this veggie mix that I'm feeding to my dogs. So I have been feeding a veggie mix for years and I used to chop it, all the vegetables up, all low glycemic, and puree them to break the cellular wall and make the nutrients more bioavailable. But I recently learned that freezing does the same thing. So no more pureeing. I went to Costco, bought tons of organic vegetables in the freezer sections, you know, done. It was so freaking easy. I choose vegetables based on traditional Chinese medicine and food energetics. So let's get into it. I started with asparagus because asparagus are a cooling vegetable. It clears dampness. It cools down hot, you know, quote unquote, hot dogs, which we have one, um, actually two. Um, and asparagus removes toxins from the body while supporting the kidney, the lungs and the spleen. So the next vegetables are green beans. This is a neutral vegetable and it supports the kidney and the spleen. My dogs already love green beans. So um, this was a no brainer to add to the diet. They get a kick out of it. Um, and then the final vegetable that I added this time is broccoli. Broccoli is another cooling vegetable and it supports the liver, the spleen, the bladder and the stomach. And also bonus, you know, like the tree part of the broccoli that actually has cancer benefits. So if you grow broccoli or buy it at the store, make sure not to throw that part away. Just chop it up fine and add it into the mix as well because it will support your dog. And just as a little palate cleanser, here's a gorgeous little puppy. Not really puppy, he's three years old. This is Apollo. He was keeping me company while I was making food. So I mixed everything up and just put it in storage containers and tossed it into the freezer for when I need it. I basically just put a spoonful over their raw meals or at the side of the dish. Sometimes I'll feed them vegetables as an individual snack, like midday or in the evening, if my dogs are feeling a little peckish. I was for, for a sm small time trying to follow rotational mono feeding, and I'll put a link to that video in the comments below, along with a couple of videos about food energetics. But the rotational mono feeding calls for a foraging day because it's trying to really mimic wild dogs and the wolf and says that they wouldn't be eating meals twice a day all day. They would have days where they're hunting, days um, where there's just no food available. So you would have foraging days where they would do the vegetation that's in their area. But I didn't really keep up with that, but I still think it's a really cool idea. So on days when I'm doing a modified fast, I will give my dogs bone broth and sometimes I will give them vegetables as well. So that is my veggie mix. I do other vegetables as well, but I always check to see where they lie on the food energetics chart. And I'll put a link to my chart that I use in the notes below so you guys can check it out. But in the meantime, what I would love to know is, do you add vegetables to your dog's diet? What vegetables do you add? And how did you decide what you were gonna add? How do you process it? Are you feeding them raw? Do you cook them? Do you puree them? Tell me all about it because I am here to learn from you just as much as you're here to learn from me. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. I look forward to reading your comments. And before you leave, like and subscribe. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.